Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Megan. I'm Matt. I'm Daniel. And we're some of the veggie boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Nice. Welcome back, everyone. It is so nice to see you. To start off our morning, we are up in the germination greenhouse. And ooh, do we have some progress for you. Well, first things first, if it's not obvious, we are turning this germination greenhouse into the definition of a greenhouse. All of our early trays that we had seeded are starting to pop up. Some are a little ahead of others, but that's okay. Everything looks like it had a good germination and a lot of those seeds are still poking out. And over here, you can see the onions that my dad and my brother seeded. They're starting to pop out of the soil as well. We're getting good stand. Ooh. Now this is the time where we have to start being careful and keeping a close watch on all of our seedlings. Especially with the warmer days coming up, we don't want those seedlings to get tall and spindly. We want nice, stocky starts. And the reason for that, when it comes time to transplant them, we do that all by hand. And the stockier, sturdier plants, they won't break as easily. Because every plant you break as you're transplanting, that's when you lose. They smell like onions. It is definitely too hot to be wearing a sweatshirt in there. Just last night, my wife and I got back from a wedding. We had a really nice time. Now, so far this morning, I know Dad is at a meeting, so he's going to be gone all morning. Daniel has been working in the greenhouse with my Aunt Rhonda, and I'm going to show you what's been going on in there. As you can see, they got a lot of stuff planted in this greenhouse. This being the largest greenhouse does take some time to fill, but when we work at it together, it goes relatively quickly. The hardest part is climbing up there to hang up the hanging baskets. <laughs> Now at this moment we are putting hanging baskets together and this can be a little bit tricky because you have to do so many different combinations of flowers and the hardest part is remembering which ones you did already but that's not our job that's Aunt Rhonda's job she takes care of all that. Right now we are doing different colors of begonia we just did a red, orange, and pink begonia. Now it's really easy to tell the difference between these flowers when they start to bloom but as you can see right now they basically all look the same. So we tag each individual one with a tag to help us tell the color. And then we do 10 of each and then we'll hang them on our hanging basket lines. Now once we finish filling the pot and then we hang it up, we have our drip irrigation that runs the whole length of the greenhouse. And once we take the pot and set it up there, it's kind of like a set it and forget it. We still monitor each of the baskets, but once we can get it hung up, we don't have to disturb it anymore. It grows really fast. Now as I'm watering here, there's a few things I'm trying to do. First off, I'm trying to give the plants a drink. Uh, we just got them planted into the soil. 
Uh, secondly, I'm trying to get the water to soak these roots down in. It'll help firm up these plants really well. And thirdly, if you look and notice, I'm not running the water too strong. I don't want to displace the plants. Running it at a lower speed really allows the roots to get soaked up with the water and it helps to firm up the plants. So I'm not going to run this water too fast. Now, as all of you know, this is normally when we would come through and add our time release fertilizer, but we do not add the time release fertilizer to the begonias because it burns them. And we haven't seen a need to add extra fertilizer into the begonias. They always grow so well for us. Now, probably the biggest job when it comes to all these greenhouses is watering. Uh, there's so much stuff that has to be accounted for and so much that has to be taken care of. And it can take a lot of time to get everything finished. Now, when it comes to watering, it's not one of my favorite jobs but it is an important job. When it comes to a family farm, there's so many jobs that need to be accomplished by so many different people. It kind of reminds me of an ecosystem. The same way there are smaller animals and insects that help an ecosystem to thrive, there are smaller jobs that will help your farm to thrive as well. And watering is one of those jobs. Now I could reason with myself that maybe there's something better for me to do, or this is a waste of my time. But by accomplishing watering all of these plants and when we have vegetables, the vegetable plants, it really allows everyone else on the farm to be able to finish their jobs. And if you were wondering, I'm still watering plants. It's, it's a great time. Now while I've been watering, Daniel and Dave, uh, Tyler's grandfather-in-law, have been working on hanging up baskets. There's just so much family dynamic around here. Grandfather-in-laws, you didn't think it could be done. Yeah, they're working on the farm. It could be done. I just basically got this whole side of the greenhouse finished. I've got a couple hanging baskets at the other end I need to water, but before I do that, I'm gonna roll up this hose. Dave and Daniel are still working on hanging baskets. Aunt Bonnie and Aunt Rhonda, they are working on planting begonias over here. Everything's been moving along smoothly. And now that the watering is all finished, they won't have to worry about all this stuff this afternoon. So whatever they want to get done, they can just continue working at it. How many do you need there? Something you may notice is the gap between each pot and the reason for that is to help stop disease. These plants grow so fast and they grow so well together that you don't allow oxygen around the stems, you don't allow oxygen around the plant, it makes it a lot easier for disease to start to grow. So what we like to do is try and aerate everything and keep that space in between. It allows the flowers to grow larger and stay healthier. Daniel just went running out the door yelling lunchtime, so we're gonna head up and eat, and it is chilly out. Oh. It looks like we're having tacos. And did you make bread pudding? Oh my, thank you, Granny. Mwah. Well, that was a really nice lunch. I tell you what, that bread pudding hit the spot. Holy. Now for the afternoon, we have some hanging baskets that need to be put up on the lines. One of the lines that we're gonna be working on is this one right here. We're gonna be putting them along the top of the greenhouse. Now dad was at his meeting all morning, but now he is back home and it's a lot easier with those extra hands. You want me to start right there or? Yeah, well, no, on the hook up. We're only doing the top row. Only the top yeah, row. Yeah, and then how'd Callie handle the trip last night? Oh, she did good. She cried like once, barely even cried. She did really good in the car. Is she talking yet? She says, Mama and Dada. She rolled. We are going through and hanging up our baskets. Up, we're moving along very nicely. Now, the drippers we're putting in for these top baskets, they're a little bit slower. And that's good because the flowers we're putting up there, they don't need as much water, and we don't want to drown them. Good. Couldn't get them off the truck. Once I get on there, they don't like to hop off too
I'll be honest with you, it's really starting to feel like spring inside the greenhouse, especially with the temperatures. It's got me sweating. I have to move these hooks into uh, order uh, because when we come through and hang up the rest of the hanging baskets, we can't have everything mixed around on us. I don't know if it's just me or you guys too, but I'm, I'm really starting to sweat here. Oh, hey. We just finished working in the greenhouse and we ran up to the house and grabbed Callie. What do you think of being in the greenhouse? Do you like it? Are you having fun? What do you think? Your first time being in the greenhouse, how does it make you feel? Huh? Tell me, how does it make you feel? I'm getting you, Callie. Hey. There you go. Yay. There you go. Wow. Grandpa gave you your first flower. What in the world is this? That's not a stable place to put my bales of hay. It's always nice when the baby can come to work. Uh, but anyway, Callie and Lauren, they went inside the farm market. Dad had just got a call from one of the local dairies. They had a calf, so we're hooking up the trailer to go pick up the calf. Now, something you may have not been able to see because we've been so busy, uh, we've upgraded our cattle trailer a little bit. We took the time and we bought some mats, some rubber mats, and we cut them to size and put them in our trailer. We were having a little bit of a problem with the larger cattle slipping in here, and well, we didn't want to risk any of them getting hurt. We put the mats in here, we've hauled a few cattle with it, and it works out really well. And now that it's done, it uh, makes this a lot safer. Because that's the last thing you want when you're hauling animals, for any of them to be hurt. It's just not a fun time then. That wallet's getting bigger and bigger. Don't tell Mimi. Dad and I just got the calf loaded up. We were on the way home. Uh, while we were there, we got to see a calf they had. It was born three and a half weeks early. It was a red Highshire? Hairshire. Hairshire, a red Hairshire calf. And it was adorable. Very cute. What is the chaos around here? Nobody can stay in a pen anywhere. <coughs> no. You let them out. And just like that, we got all of the animals finished for the night. So now we can head up to the house. All in all, we had a beautiful day on our hands today. Can't ask for much more. This smells good in the house. This smells like fried food. What are we having for dinner? Ooh. Chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan and eggplant parmesan, right? Well, that's for me. Yeah. If there's chicken parmesan available, don't be trying to serve me the eggplant substitute. It's not gonna go well. Alrighty, everyone. We are all coming out to the dinner table. We are getting ready to eat. I don't know about you, but that looks pretty good to me. But everybody is now out the dinner table, so that means this is where we're gonna end the video today. I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Buh bye bye Buh bye, bye.